Hi, this is Jacqueline with the Fable Tree. I wanted to give just a quick overview of how to use the Glowforge user interface, also known as the Glowforge app, to cut a file. So first of all, go to app.glowforge.com. You'll need to sign in and then hit create. You can create an empty design and kind of use the Glowforge elements if you'd like, but I'm going to upload from a file. I've created a few different Boho um, keychains, and so I'm going to just cut one of those. I've already cut the others, so I don't need to do all of them, but I just want to make sure that I get this last one. The, so here's what you see, okay? Uh, the Glowforge is looking at the bed of my Glowforge, which has some wood in it with those first two keychain backings cut out already. So we have the Adventurer and the Stay Wild. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag to delete those, okay? So you'll see that it's selected, and you can just delete. I'm also cutting this Wanderlust um, the actual letters out of a different material, so I don't need that this time either. I do want this part to cut. I'm going to drag it onto a oh, an available piece of wood. There we are. And you'll notice that we have these little red dashed lines. Now, that can mean a couple things, but what it really means right now is that I haven't set my material yet. I'm coming up to unknown, and I'm going to use medium walnut plywood settings because I'm cutting um, some 1 8 inch uh, actually white oak plywood, and this is really the closest proof grade setting that works really nicely. Before I go any further, I want to click these three dots and hit set focus and click somewhere on my design so that the Glowforge, and you can maybe hear it kicking into gear in the background there, so that it will focus directly on that part of the wood. And what that does is um, it makes sure that, you know, maybe my board is a little warped or, you know, I've got a lot of cuts here, so some of these might have flopped up a little bit. It's measuring exactly where to focus right there on that piece of wood. Now, I want to come over here. I'm using a cutout uh, backing, and I'm scoring a design onto that. So in my cut file, uh, I have these set up as two different colors, and so I'm going to click on this. I, again, I've already got my medium walnut plywood, so everything's on a proof grade setting right now. And I'm just going to change that to score. I'm fine with draft, and so I'm just going to leave that right there. I'm going to click this and drag it up because it's always smart to do scores or engraves prior to cuts. The reason for that is that if your board is warped at all and the uh, Glowforge cuts first, it might drop down a little, and then your placement of your design can be slightly off. So I always score or engrave anything prior to cutting. So you can, again, just click and drag to reorder those steps. Now, if I had an engraved step, I would do the same thing there, and I could even go in and adjust my settings. All right, so let's say, let's look at our cut here. You could go to manual and adjust each of these if you wanted to. Um, I'm actually good to go. I like the, uh, the, the proof grade settings for that, so I'm all right. Okay, um, you'll notice, maybe you can see these in um, these little, they're called hold down pins or honeycomb pins. And this is from a free file on the Glowforge community forum. I'll try to link it in the comments, uh, or I'm sorry, in the description below. Uh, but I recommend that every time you cut anything at all, you have your material pinned down and you use set focus. That eliminates so many problems that you might have with your Glowforge. Honeycomb pins, set focus. Oh, and of course, make sure that your Glowforge is clean. All right, at this point, I'm going to hit print. It is loading my design and calculating its precision movement. And you'll see that it's going to take about a minute and nine seconds. Now I'm heading over to my Glowforge to cut it out. And you can check out a different YouTube video to see the final result. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will get you answers ASAP.